Hello, my name is Tomasz Poszetek and in this short video I would like to show you how you can resume any Cloudflow that is waiting for an approval. So um, there are multiple scenarios where you are creating an approval process in a Cloudflow and that appro approval process is waiting for um, for all tasks to be completed and only after then it can it will resume and the flow can continue. However, in some scenarios you might need or you might want to resume it before it actually completes its operation. Um, so it is possible because all the approval information is stored in Dataverse in the environment where the approval was created. And there are two significant tables taking part in this, um, in this piece of scenario. The one, the first one is called approval, where you can find all the general information about the approvals. And the second one is called the flow approval that contains a column called flow notification URI that once you send a post request to, it will simply resume the flow that is waiting for, uh, for that approval process to be completed. If you're interested, um, to learn more information about how this whole architecture and approval process, um, mechanisms, uh, work, and then uh, simply navigate to my other YouTube videos where I'm describing in a very deep details how this whole approval solution is built and how the information is stored and where you can find what and what happens in which scenario with the data. All right, so let's start with a very simple scenario right now. I will now assign or trigger this uh, workflow that is called assign lots of tasks. Its purpose is to simply uh, create like three tasks and uh, and that's it. So right now uh, it is running. You can see there is uh, this new instance. Let's uh, open it here. So what I have to do first is to find this flow notification URI. So then the first thing you have to do is to navigate to uh, approval table to find the, f uh, the approval ID. So approval, then data, I need to switch to all columns and then I need to find a record that has been generated on uh, today and possibly it will be like 950 uh, something. So it's not on the first page, it will be possibly somewhere on the second. Right, so let me just uh, trigger the search again. Right, there it is. So that is obviously this uh, record. So now I need to copy that ID. And with this ID, I can now go to flow approval table. So this is that table. And in this table, what you have to copy is value from the flow notification URI that corresponds um, that has been created for this flow approval ID. I mean, for this approval ID. So again, uh, I need to switch to data, then to all columns. And right now I need to find a record for this approval ID. It's not here. So again, I need to load more information. And again, fingers crossed that it's going to be present on the second page. If not, there is still a third page as I see. Oh, but there it is. So here is the record and here is this flow notification URI I have to copy. Now the next step you have to do is to, for example, open a postman, paste that URI, just note it has like a free, free line at the end, so remove it, um, and post. And what is important, uh, you can send actually any uh, body to that endpoint and whatever JSON, of course, uh, whatever JSON body you will send is going to be available one to one as the response content from that approval process. However, uh, if you'd like to send something that is going to be, let's say, transformed and displayed properly, so something that is matching the schema that this action is awaiting, so something that is going to be displayed as dynamic outcomes, then what you could do is to simply navigate to any uh, approval process of yours that has been completed successfully. So like in my case, that will be this one to preview how does the proper, the correct response body for this action or the request body for this action should look like. Then go to row outputs and here you can find uh, how this body is constructed. So this is the 
uh, the body that should, you should simply use. So as you can see, it contains a table of responses and it contains um, like a concatenated string of response summary, which as well uh, is somehow similar to other responses. And then it contains some general information about the whole approval process. However, what you can do, you can do as well is to create your own custom body and that will be really, really fine. So what I will send now, uh, not here, sorry, uh, in a postman is uh, just going to be a very simple body like oops, and send. So um, it was successful. Uh, I have a response code to 200. And once I refresh it, you'll see that this instance is completed. And furthermore, if I now expand the start and wait for approval action, you'll see that um, the body that has been sent to this action is simply the one I have authored in my uh, in the postman. And this is that simple. So with that, you can actually resume any workflow. You can pass uh, some fake information, uh, some fake approval information, even if it is not really stored in Dataverse. So um, if you have any workflow that is stuck, that is waiting endlessly for approval, you can simply resume the workflow this way. Uh, I hope you find it helpful. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, thumbs up, and well, until the next time. Thank you and bye.